Now, depositors of the collapsed Imperial Bank will be able to access an additional 3.9 billion shillings of their deposits. This follows additional steps between the Kenya Insurance Deposit Corporation, that's KDIC, and KCB Bank towards resolution of the collapsed lender. The 3.9 billion shillings worth of deposits to be accessed represents 7.5% of what has been deemed to be eligible deposits as at the date when Imperial Bank was placed under receivership. Over the last four months, six billion shillings worth of deposits have been accessed following arrangements between the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation and KCB Group. Depositors have accessed 35% of their deposits, which translates to 92% of the depositors were allowed full access of their deposits. I mean, a lot of questions are asked about why does it take long. Resolving an institution is not as straightforward. It's a complex process. Yeah, and, and it's important to see the steps. So four months since we gave our proposal and offer, that is for me is exciting and we've come to a close of the process. The head scratcher, however, still remains for KDIC to scout for other lenders willing to take on some of the assets of the collapsed Imperial Bank, which KCB Group leaves behind, in particular, its loan book. We are not saying that this is the last money which we are paying. We are also going to work with, after we have cleared with KCB, we'll work with other financial institutions, KCB too included Joshua, I'm not, I'm not chasing him. It has been four years since Imperial Bank was placed under receivership and now KDIC says that going forward it is working to resolve distressed banks in a faster fashion, in a bid to spare depositors the headache of protracted resolution. Julian Amboko, NTV.